Okay, this is the final part. The wire's all been twisted with this uh, twisting assembly. And they took it all the drill and it fits in the side here. It's all made out of solid oaks, hardwood. It fits inside here, keep it from moving, and there's a bolt down here that bolts it into the to the coil winder. And yeah, this thing moves back and forth when you're uh, spooling the uh, wire back on here after it's twisted. We do about 15 feet at a time. You can do this in your <clears throat> your house. If you uh, don't have a garage, you can go out in your garage. You can do a one-man uh, job here without any help. Anyhow, we're twisting the wire back onto, this is the spool. We're we'll putting wire or uh, welding rod inside here when we're done. And this is the uh, counter over here. And the counter, let's yeah, see if we can get the light on that. That's the uh, Fargo Corporation, or Fargo Controls, it's the LB-80-5 uh, find that on the internet. <clears throat> Again, this is all made out of a solid oak. We have some uh, friction devices here, some springs riding against some plastic. And this is aluminum crank. Keeps friction on these so they won't unspool. They also put uh, some bearings inside here, rubber tubing. You can have this all the way across to be better. And some other bearings come up so they stay inside here. Anyhow, we're going to have a book on all the drawings, how to build this. It's all made out of aluminum flat stock. It's aluminum angle right here. Flat stock here. And this is a uh, big wire spool. This is jammed against here with some washers so this doesn't, uh, shaft doesn't spin on it. And then we uh, clamp it tight here with these two here so it won't spin and then when we need it to spin we loosen this up. Uh, so it'll actually spin to, to wind wire back. This is a half inch uh, plastic tube. Feed the wire into here. So it, it, it spins it inside here. It won't cause any damage. So there you have it.